Marion Graves Anthony Fish, nickname, Mamie, June 8, 1853 to May 25, 1915, was an American socialite and self-styled fun maker of the Gilded Age. She and her husband, Stuyvesant Fish, maintained stately homes in New York City and Newport, Rhode Island. Marion, Mamie, Graves Anthony, as she was called, was born in Grimes Hill, Staten Island, and was the daughter of Sarah Atwood Neart and the esteemed General William Henry Anthon, 1827-1875, a successful lawyer and Staten Island assemblyman. Her paternal grandfather was jurist John Anthon, 1784-1863. Mamie was of Dutch, English, French, and German ancestry. She grew up on Irving Place in Manhattan and only received a rudimentary education and, by her own admission, could barely read and write. Mamie ruled as one of the so-called triumvirate of American Gilded Age society, known as the 400, along with Alva Vanderbilt Belmont and Jesse Ulrichs. She became a notable leader of high society in New York City at her townhouse at 25 East 78th Street at her stately home Glencliffe in Phillipstown, New York, and in her mansion Crossways in Newport, Rhode Island, by virtue of her quick wit and sharp tongue. Grandees attending her dinner parties would be greeted with the occasional insult, make yourself perfectly at home, and believe me, there is no one who wishes you there more heartily than I do. One man was greeted with, oh, how do you do? I had quite forgotten I asked you. In collusion with her antics, Harry Lair often served as a co-planner of outrageous parties, such as the one given in honor of Prince Del Drago of Corsica, who turned out to be a well-dressed monkey. Given too much champagne, the monkey proceeded to climb the chandelier and throw light bulbs at the guests. At another of her parties, Dancers holding peanuts would feed an elephant she rented as they danced by a dot MRS. Fish's cattiness respected no rank, for when Theodore Roosevelt's wife sought to keep a frugal household, Mamie Fish was quoted as condescendingly saying of Mrs. Roosevelt it is said she dresses on $300 a year, and she looks it. On June 1, 1876, she married Stavison Fish, 1851 to 1923 the director of the National Park Bank of New York City and president of the Illinois Central Railroad. He was the son of Hamilton Fish, 1808-1893. Together, they had four children, three of whom lived to adulthood. Livingston Fish, 1879-1880, who died at six months. Marion Anthony Fish, 1880-1944, who married Albert Sobrisky Gray, 1881-1964, the son of the judge John Clinton Gray on June 12, 1907. They divorced on December 5, 1934. Stuyvesant Fish, Jr., 1883-1952, who married Isabel Mildred Dick, 1884-1972, daughter of Evans Rogers Dick, in 1910. Sidney Webster Fish, 1885-1950, who married Olga Martha Whitmore, 1890-1937, daughter of Frank Bestow Whitmore, in 1915. In 1929, he married Esther Foss, the daughter of Governor Eugene Noble Foss. She had previously been married to George Gordon Moore, a polo player whom she divorced in 1933, and Aidan Rourke, another polo player whom she married in 1934 and divorced in 1939. She died on May 25, 1915, and is buried near Glencliffe at the Church of St. Philip in the Highlands. Her Newport summer cottage, Crossways, is now a condominium.